Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sydney Lyra. I'm a radiography student and I'm in my first semester. Today, what I kind of wanted to talk to you about was how I study for finals since we do have finals coming up this week. I have to sneeze, but it's not happening. Um, so we do have finals coming up this week and I have a final for radiography that is coming up on Wednesday, even though I haven't studied for it and it's already Monday. So um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I study. It's not really anything exciting and it really also is going to depend on what program you're going to because I know that the material that's handed out for some programs is different so you may not get the same you may not get the same materials. Like we were provided a study guide for the final exam for our radiography class. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do. I'm also gonna show you some of the things that I use um, to study. If you guys need those sort of study aids, maybe some of the things that I have used before or continue to use will help you out. So let me go ahead and show you guys some of the tools, the study aids that I use for finals in general, not necessarily just for radiography. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys that I use is this anatomy self-test coloring book. Um, this is really cool for AMP study. Um, it gives you a lot of anatomy. So it gives you a lot of things that you can fill in and color, and it gives a really interactive way for you to study. So another thing that was suggested to me by another student in the program was the flashcards for bones, joints, and articulations of the human body. Um, this is really cool, actually. So what I did is I went in and actually sectioned out the different like bones and joints, um, or bones anyways, the joints and articulations is a separate section. But I went in and sectioned out the joints for each like landmark or for each part of the body. So like the first section that I sectioned off was the like skull. So it goes over like axial and appendicular parts of the body first. Um, and then it goes into like the skull. So I sectioned that off as well as like all the other sections like uh, upper extremity, lower extremity. Um, so that way I can kind of go in and study these if I need to. Each card has like, so like if I pull out this spine card, this one is gonna be for the thoracic spine. So it kind of goes over each vertebrae itself um, but the back of the card gives you all of the answers for each part. So, like the first one here is going to be the inferior vertebral notch. So, it gives you a way to label basically. But you'll go in and answer each one. So, what I'm going to be doing to study is I'm going to use this study guide that we were provided by our um, instructor. So basically what he's done is he's provided a bunch of questions for us to go over ourselves and what I'm going to do is make statements out of them. So the first question that he provided was who discovered x-ray and when? So what I would do is restate the question in me answering it. This isn't like homework, he's not grading this at all, but he provided it to us, so uh, there's obviously a reason for it, so I'm gonna use it. So who discovered x-ray and when? That would be Wilhelm R Rentgen, I believe is how you pronounce his last name, November 8th, 1895. So that's what I would write. I would say uh, x-ray was discovered by Wilhelm Rentgen on November 8th, 1895. That way it sticks in my head more. This is a tactic that was taught to us by one of the instructors is to make a statement out of the question. So instead of just answering the question, make it into a statement so that you remember the material better, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for that. Um, 
And then what I'm also going to be doing is going through all of the old quizzes and tests that we've taken because on Blackboard, which is the program that we use, um, it gives you the one that you got wrong. So it shows you what you got wrong and it provides you with the correct answer. So I'm going to go in and look at all of the questions and reread all of the questions, but I'm going to do statements for all of the ones that I got wrong. Um, also what I'm going to go ahead and do is go through all of the previous PowerPoints um, just to kind of re-solidify the information because all of these questions are based directly off of the PowerPoints. So if I go through and I read all of these questions and then I go back and I reread the PowerPoint that's associated with it, that's going to help solidify it even more. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what I'm going to do. It's not anything super exciting, um, but that's the way that I'm going to be able to go back over the information and refresh my memory on it, um, as well as go over some of the things that I missed initially and make sure that I understand those for the final. So the ones that I got right, I assume I'm going to be okay in going back and remembering, um, especially since the final is going to be built off of the questions that came from the quizzes and tests. So if the questions are going to be similar, at least I'll be able to kind of think back and recall the questions that I went over this time. So. Um, I'm going over the questions now. When we take the final, I'll at least have it fresh in my mind and the questions that I went back over um, since the tests are going to be based off the same questions. Okay, so I just want to show you guys really quick. So I am writing down my statements and I found a couple of questions in here that I was not too sure that I would remember. So like if you look at uh, the number of x-rays reaching the image receptor increases, the result upon the image is increased density. So like some of these I wouldn't have remembered um, if they had just shown up on the final tomorrow and I had no idea, like I hadn't looked. So the exposure factor that has the primary control of image contrast is KVP. I probably wouldn't have remembered that. So basically I'm just still writing down ones, even if I didn't get them wrong, if I know that I'm not gonna remember it or that I didn't remember it before seeing it just now, I'm gonna go ahead and write it down just so that I have that fresh in my mind. Um, and then I'm going to go back over these statements and read them out loud a few times. So, even though I didn't get them wrong, I'm still going to write them down if I don't remember them. Um, I'm also kind of answering some of these questions. So um, I skipped, I'm skipping the ones right now that I don't know. So I'm writing all the ones that I do know first, and then I'm going to go back and research the ones that I don't remember. Um, so where this says, what are the characteristics of x-ray, I do remember some of them, like it's uh, polyenergetic, it's divergent, it's isotropic, but I don't know if that's exactly what he's looking for. Um, so I'm going to go back, figure out what it is that he's looking for, and then find the answer from there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys like a an realistic ap application of it instead of me just kind of explaining what it is that I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, eventually I'll go back over the PowerPoints as well just to kind of continue going over it. I'll write down anything that I didn't remember from the PowerPoints, things like that. So I am, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I have A's in all of my classes right now, so Fingers crossed that it goes well and I'm able to keep my A's across the board. I am excited for this semester to be over. Um, I will do a plan with me video for the next semester. So once they provide us with our, with our course plans, so like the plans that I use to schedule out this last semester, once they provide us with those course plans, I'll go ahead and do a study or a plan with me video so that you guys can see exactly how I plan out my semester. I know I did a semester planning video already. Um, I'll link that one up in the cards so that you can watch that. 
Um, but I want to do an actual video that shows me actually planning out the semester so you guys can kind of see that. So if you guys have any sort of study materials that you use that you would like to suggest, leave them in the comments below um, and I'll give them a try. So like, comment, subscribe to my channel so that you can see more and I appreciate you guys watching and if you have any questions at all, I'd love to answer them if you leave them down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one.